We've got a, a mishap that we witnessed. Uh, Douglas, Lancer 4PT. That one? So it's, I, haven't, it's a, I haven't had a chance Lance, to highlight this. I don't you don't know have to highlight. Just show the video. Oh, okay. Ooh. Make it, make, it, oh. make it big, so to speak. Are you making the ooh noises, or is that Yeah, that was me. That was horrible. Is this your first time seeing it? Oh. Oh, oh dude. So uh, I was talking to my also cop buddy, and I showed him that video, and I'm like, how would you write the accident report on that? I don't think there's an airplane in L.A. crash. It might be. I've never seen, I mean, I've never needed one, but I feel for the police that has to write the accident report to L20. Is it L29? Um, one more time. Boom. Clearly the car was speeding because he couldn't stop in time. So what they reported is that he went up to 25,000 feet. So a Lancer 4, right? Very slick airplane. Almost impossible to insure. I looked at buying one back when I first, like 2016, 27, no, 2018. It's turbo prop. Uh, yeah. Well, 2017. 2017, 2016, 2017. Cause I was looking, I was like, man, I need something to go cross country to go to Tyndall or whatever. And at the time they were like 200 grand. And the reason they're so cheap is because if you get the non-pressurized version, um, they're very hard to insure. Actually, they're all very hard to insure, but the non-pressurized version, you know, it's a almost a 300 knot airplane. And they're very slick. They don't slow down and they get into the hands of people that have never flown that kind of speed in their lives. And all of a sudden they're overrunning runways, their final turn spins, uh, stall spin, all kinds of issues because of that wing. And then they went and made it pressurized, which we had a guy in our squadron that had a pressurized version. Then they added the turbine, which that one did. So what happened he gets up to 25,000 feet. He has a pressurization issue. He does a rapid descent. He does a go around on his first approach and then comes in, overshoots the runway. He doesn't go to beta, which I read that it does have beta on the on the turbine. And off the end he goes. I mean, I, I can't imagine. I had a glass air and that thing had no brakes. I mean, oh yeah, brakes on those little things. I mean, they're just... Well, it's made for... That thing is literally made for speed. I mean, yeah, that, everything about it, the gear is small. Every, I mean, everything about it is made for efficiency and speed. It's an awesome airplane. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, nobody was seriously injured, which is. Except the Lance Air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right here to my, that's such Dude, a nice it was, airplane. It was like 10 grand a year back then. I can't imagine. It's got to be, I've heard people, it's like uninsurable. You know, you're self-insured at that point. I mean, yeah. or liability only. Just, right. Right. Because who ooh. pays for the car? Right. I mean, yeah. And the yeah. fence yeah. that he went through. <laughs> yeah. They will send you a bill too. You'll get a oh, bill I know. for the fence. You'll get a bill oh, for yeah. everything else. So, 